I'm Andrew Romeo. I'm a functional neurosurgeon with Neurosurgery One. My father and my grandfather were both physicians. They were tremendously influential on my decision to go into me medicine. To me, it's you know, special that I've been able to carry on that tradition. So one of my favorite things about neurosurgery is really just the dramatic impact that we can have on the lives of our patients. We can really restore, in many cases, normal behavior, making somebody retain function that is so vital, whether that means just the ability to walk, the ability to talk, or in the case of epilepsy, not having to worry about seizures, it can really make a big difference. And I think that that's one of the things that maybe attracted me to the field. So I did extra training in functional neurosurgery, which is a rapidly growing area of neurosurgery, and it's sort of where neurosurgery and neurology overlap. We treat disorders that have often in the past been primarily managed by neurologists. And it's really remarkable, the advances in the field. I believe we are, over the course of the next maybe 10 to 15 years, going to see a real change in the different types of therapies that we can offer to treat neurologic disorders. I'm very excited about being sort of at the forefront of that. I think it's a unique practice in that we're a large multi-specialty neurosurgery group, but also you know, can cover the entire spectrum of neurosurgical disorders, like maybe what you would find at, at a big medical institution. But we aren't a big medical institution, so with the hospital that we work at and, and with our relationship with the other surgeons in the group, we have a more personal feel. And so you kind of get the best of both worlds of being supported by a big group, but at the same time having the flexibility and the camaraderie, I guess, of, of a smaller group, which I think patients can appreciate. My patient philosophy is really based in a partnership, helping them throughout the whole process. I mean, oftentimes with many of these disorders and medical issues, problems that we face can be very complicated, and it's my role to really educate the patient. But our patients are smart, and they can certainly understand it, and they are in the best position to then weigh the medical issues with everything else they have going on in their life. I may be one of the few neurosurgeons that actually gives my cell phone number to the patients I operate on, because I really want them to have access to me, you know, if issues come up and I want to know about how they're doing.